They were a ragtag robotics team. Four teenage boys from Phoenix, Arizona, decided to build an underwater robot just for the hell of it. They took the robot and headed west to a sophisticated underwater robotics competition up against the likes of MIT. When we arrived at the competition, I was pretty nervous. The other robots were like pieces of underwater jewelry. We looked like the carnival had arrived. Just a raggedy ass robot. We were way over our head. We noticed water in the case. We're telling it to go forward, and the robot's going sideways. And I'm thinking, oh my god. Oh, shit. we're out of the competition. We were all having problems. My idea was a tampon. This was a do or die situation. MacGyver would be proud. <laughs> <laughs> but the robot was only the beginning. Who are these punks from nowhere that had no business doing what they do? You know, what is that? They broke the mold and said, catch me if you can. It wasn't about building a robot. The 2004 team showed us that it was possible. No matter what background you come from or where you are, you can do what you set your mind to do. Kids at Carl Hayden High School become leaders. They have a sense of social responsibility that was cultivated as being part of this team. Knowing you can't do something just because you're lacking a piece of paper is kind of devastating. What the robotics did to me is to show me, even though that I don't know where to start, I can solve the problem. We should empower as many people as we can to build great things. These boys laid a foundation. They inspired those behind them to see that possibilities could exist, to be courageous, to dream, and to fly. I want to solve the energy crisis. Make a difference in my community. Be a computer engineer. Develop the renewable energy infrastructure. The next generation of autonomous vehicles. And make them go faster. Prosthetics for kids. Discover, like, alien life. I want to be an astronomer. <laughs> <laughs>